Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to a Jets Media live stream. And today, we're going to be quickly talking about tomorrow's matchup between the New York Jets and the New York Giants for the preseason finale at MetLife Stadium. This is going to be a fun game to watch because the New York Jets starters will be playing in at least one quarter of action, according to Robert Sala. We're going to see the first time of the New York Jets offensive line playing together, as well as the entire uh, defense together. And it's going to be fun because there's a lot of guys out there that have not got any experience so far in the preseason. And let's all hope that uh, they can uh, escape that game with any significant injuries because that's the biggest reason why. None of the veterans have played in the preseason so far, but at the same time, these guys need those live reps, especially the offensive line with Dwayne Brown just being the uh, latest addition to that offensive line. They need that chemistry. They need that cohesion. So with that being said, let's get right into it. But before we do so, if you guys could do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button on your way into the stream, or if you're watching some replay, greatly appreciate that. And of course, if you want to subscribe to the channel, got a lot of Jets content coming your way. And feel free to comment down below your thoughts of tomorrow's game. I'll be live at 1 o'clock on my channel to give you guys my live play-by-play -play reaction. So it's going to be a lot of fun, and I cannot wait to see what happens tomorrow. So first and foremost, I want to talk about... Um, the Denzel Mims situation before we get uh, deeper into the game tomorrow because if you guys saw my video on on it yesterday I was not home I stayed in New York City last night for my friend's birthday um, so I was unable to be you know at home when this news broke and I'm like whoa Denzel Mims wants it uh, wants out of New York so I made a video and now I'm finally home so this is my first opportunity to talk about it um, outside of that video I made so obviously this is something that came out of nowhere but at the end of the day, there are a lot of things that um, was pointing in this direction because you look at the depth chart of this New York Jets team at the wide receiver spot. There's just so many players ahead of Denzel Mims, and that's like a good problem to have, guys. We got Corey Davis, who is looking really good in training camp. A lot of Jets fans are sleeping on him. We have the rookie, Garrett Wilson. We have year two, Elijah Moore. And, of course, we re-signed Braxton Berrios. So those four guys are easily going to be starting over Denzel Mims. And Denzel wants an opportunity to play. He doesn't want to sit behind. He doesn't want to be on the bench. And he feels like he's talented enough to be a player in this league that can be at a high level. And if you look back and when the Jets drafted him, um, the Jets had a completely different scheme at the time. They had Adam Gase as the coach. Uh, and Joe Douglas drafted Denzel Mims to fit the Adam Gay scheme. And we all felt like that la even last year when Mike LaFleur came here. We heard, we felt like the Denzel Mims and Mike LaFleur relationship wasn't there because of the scheme fit. But then we're like, who cares about the scheme fit? Denzel Mims is a physically talented court, uh, wide receiver. Get him out there. So um, it does feel like the Jets have different plans. But Joe Douglas, which I think is interesting, he, doesn't, he was not going to cut him. He doesn't want to release him. He doesn't want to trade him. He feels like Denzel Mims has a lot of uh, depth on this team and he wants him on this roster, but he's obviously going to be open to trading him away only if the right price presents itself, which is really interesting. We heard that the Carolina Panthers are the rumored to be interested in Denzel Mims. That makes a lot of sense. Matt Rule was Denzel Mims' coach over at Baylor. So if I had to guess, he's going to be a Carolina Panther. Now, the big question is, what is the draft capital that Joe Douglas is going to get? Douglas is not trading away Denzel Mims if he does not feel like he is getting equal value back. Now, what do the Jets value Denzel Mims at? We invested a second round pick in him. Are we going to get anything close to a day two pick? Probably not. I feel like it's going to be a day uh, three pick, like a fourth, fifth, or sixth rounder, if I had to guess. If Douglas can get a day of round three pick or round four pick, that would be ideal. That would be the best case scenario. But I don't really see that happening with Denzel Mims, who has a career 490 yards as an NFL wide receiver with no touchdowns. Um, so it is definitely bittersweet because I always felt like Denzel had a bright future on this roster and on this franchise. Um, but at the end of the day, he wants out and the Jets are really talented and loaded at this position. So it doesn't really hurt us too much. Um, we have a lot of fun guys at the wide receiver spot doing good things in training camp, like Calvin Jackson, um, uh, Jeff Smith, of course. And all these guys are going to be replacing Denzel when we do move on from him. And Robert Sala spoke to the media. It's probably smokescreen. I'm not going to read too much into it. But Sala said himself that he doesn't feel like Denzel's time as a Jet is over. And he's trying to revive that uh, relationship. So um, Denzel Mims, if I had the guess, is going to be traded before the roster cuts on Tuesday. Now, is it going to be to the Panthers? I don't know. There's other teams out there that fits him well, like the Falcons, uh, the Packers. I feel like he would uh, thrive over there. Um, there's a lot of teams out there that's probably want to take a flyer on a, a young asset that has two years left of rookie control and um, feels like that the best is yet um, the best is in front of them. And it's really crazy that the Jets are trading away a receiver like this because we're so talented at that position.
That's pretty crazy. I, I really feel like that's a good thing in terms of where this Jets are at in terms of the wide receiver position. So, guys, if you're enjoying the stream, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. We got nine likes with around 40 of you guys tuning in live. Or if you're watching this on replay, I appreciate you guys tuning in to the Jets media live stream. Uh, talking about tomorrow's game against the New York Giants, this is really important because, like I said to start off the stream, First time uh, with the starters out there. First time seeing Joe Flacco execute this offense outside of joint practices. And um, I'm expecting this offense to look good. You know, I'm not expecting them to you know, put up back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back touchdowns. But I want to see the ball movement. I want to see Joe Flacco getting rid of the ball and bringing the playmakers, uh, giving the ball to the playmakers with space. They want to see Brees Hall get moving. You want to see Garrett Wilson, the rookies, get, get thriving. You want to see Elijah Moore. You want to see the offensive line be able to protect Joe Flacco. Most importantly open up some uh, running holes for Brees Hall and Michael Carter because uh, last week the run game really wasn't doing anything. The backup offensive line was pretty bad. And every time Brees Hall or whatever running back got the ball, they didn't really have anywhere to go. So um, you can't read too much into it because it is the uh, backup offensive line. Now we're going to have Elijah Vera Tucker and Lincoln Thompson as the two guards with McGovern and Fenton Brown out there. So there's no really a, not a lot of excuses out there for this offensive line to really look like they're an improved bunch. Now when it comes to the defensive side of the ball, um, this is going to be interesting because apparently the Jets defense got destroyed by the Giants in joint practice. Daniel Jones was picking them apart. And we all saw what the Giant, what the Jets defense looked like last week against the Falcons. It wasn't good. And I, it wasn't all the starters. Bryce Hall was getting decapitated by Kyle Pitts. And um, we were not out there with our veterans like CJ Mosley and Quinn and Williams and Carl Lawson. But now with all those veterans out there, I want to see this defense get some stops. I do not want to see the Giants go down the field and just hit explosive play after explosive play, play action, people wide open down the field every single play like it was last week. That should not happen. If we give up a touchdown, okay. But I want to see a, a defense that goes out there in the preseason tomorrow and shows some potential, shows some ability to get some stops and be able to look like an improved bunch because the talented that the talent that we infuse in this defense when it comes to the secondary in particular, Sauce Garner, DJ Reed, Jordan Whitehead, those three guys should really make a big difference immediately, not to mention the development of the defensive line with the rookies of Jermaine Johnson and Michael Clemens. Quentin Williams is going to have a big season. John Franklin Myers. I mean, we got so much talent on this roster, so there's really no excuse for this defense to go out there and look flat-footed like they did um, against the Atlanta Falcons last week, especially that our starters are playing. So if we lose the game tomorrow, it's okay. I do want it to just to win at least the first quarter because that's really what we want to see. This offense go out there, this defense go out there, and prove to be a better team than the New York Giants. I feel like the joint practice was interesting because it was one day and the Giants felt like they got the best of our defense, while as the Jets got the best of the Giants defense. So it felt like both offenses won the day uh, respectively. But Elijah Moore, I really am excited to see what he can do, of course. The playmakers is what really is getting me the most excited for the season is this Jets young team and the playmakers around it. So uh, shout out to everybody tuning in in the chat. Let's see what you guys got cooking up for me. Um, So I see everyone's talking about Denzel Mims still. Yeah, I mean, Denzel Mims get, re requesting a trade in the, the statement that his agent made. That was so, so interesting to me. But let me know your thoughts in the live chat about the Denzel Mims situation. Of course, your thoughts about the New York Giants and the New York Jets preseason game tomorrow. I'll be live for the entire game. So if you guys want to sit back and relax and watch me react to the game, you guys know where to find me right here on this YouTube channel. Of course, I appreciate each and every one of you guys tuning in to this quick live stream of me previewing the Jets and Giants preseason game and giving you guys my updated thoughts of the whole Denzel Mims situation. Leave a comment down below your thoughts when the stream is all wrapped up of the game tomorrow and your Denzel Mims situation. And please, if you guys are not already, smash that thumbs up button for your boy. That's going to wrap up the stream, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow at 1 o'clock for kickoff, baby. Let's go, Jets. Peace out.